oh, oh, here we go. Let's see if he figures this out. So this looks like Fabio. He acts like Fabio. He eats like Fabio. And he, what is he eating? The first thing, a goat fish. And it's called a goat fish because down here he has some little, little funny little thing, goatee that hangs off his mouth. But boy, he didn't waste any time eating that. I don't know how I'm going to give him the back up and eat everything else. He's never eaten one of those before, I promise you. Ooh, so there that goes. So let's see, what's next? Whoa, never eaten one of those, huh? So, this is Mr. Kipling's, this is Mr. Kipling's nephew, also, and uh, he's really awesome, and we really haven't named him yet. He's Fabio Jr. to me, maybe Fabio, because Fabio's no longer at the Reptile Zoo. Can you believe that? But when I release and let you guys know where he's at, you're going to understand why it all makes sense. Oh, there you go. There's his regular chicken. That's what he always eats. Now, here's the weird part. This is a chicken leg, too. So both, both are chicken legs. But you know what? I tried to feed a piece of this to another chicken, and they wouldn't eat it because it must, I mean, another chicken, another lizard. But it must taste completely different. It must taste a lot different anyway because this chicken cost $13 for one little chicken. It was kind of crazy. And uh, it's an exotic one. We have all kinds of exotic foods from all over the world here. Uh, you guys probably know what kind of fish that is. He chose that first. What kind of fish is this? He's going to have a hard time getting this down. Whoa. What kind of fish is that? I've seen him in a fish tank before. <laughs> Whoa. There it goes. Look at that. I didn't think he could get that down that easy. He hasn't even, you haven't even eaten your steak. I, okay, here, let's see if you'll eat the eel. I was gonna tell you guys to choose what he's gonna eat first, but I don't know, he's already broken everything and eaten all the stuff backwards, practically. So these eels have an enormously, oh my gosh, I can't, I haven't smelled a smell like that for 30 years when my daughters were babies. So. He's trying to swallow this, see, he's trying to choke that food down right there. It's still in his neck, so he'll like squeeze it. <laughs> I, I, I learned that from, and you get a chicken, like you're eating a chicken leg hole. Oh, there goes the steak. Oh man, I was planning on eating that tonight, bro. He didn't even save me his ch steak. Shh. Come on, you want this chicken leg? You're never going to have another chicken leg like this again because there ain't no way I'm paying $13 for a pound and a half chicken ever again. Ever. So you better like eat it up now. You want it? Or you want the eel? Huh? Which sounds better? Then you got this big old hot dog. Oh, there goes the hot dog. <laughs> I was going to eat that hot dog too. Okay, now you're really, really, really looking like a prima donna here, getting kind of picky. What are you going to eat? You're not done with your food. you got to clean your plate. Okay, you got to try it. you got to try the first one. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. So, do you guys know what kind of chicken that was? I actually didn't read the label. I just know it was a regular old chicken, well, not regular old chicken because it costs, like I said, almost $13. Oh, he never had a chicken with a leg still there. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, high five, huh? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> I've never eaten a chicken, actually, I've never eaten chicken feet. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> They're kind of common in Asian food and they taste pretty good. Okay. This is this will be the impressive thing if he eats this. I'm telling you. Look, smell that. Ooh, ooh, gnarly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I won't get that smell off my hands for years. So I was trying to tell you guys. The last time I smelled anything like this was like 30 years ago when I was changing diapers. <laughs> it's not good. It is stinky. And uh, I promise you, I'll go get you a regular chicken leg if you eat it. Is that a deal? Is that a deal? Oh, he's he's still. Look at that. He's still got that chicken leg in his neck. So he's going to have to squeeze it all in. Or are you just going to go straight to it? Come on. Got the bump. Come on. Oh, oh. Okay. There you go. Come on, push it down. Push it down. So see, see, literally, I can see the chicken leg in his neck right there. Oh, it's gone. It just went in the stomach. 
So he is officially ready for round, what is that, five? Okay, let's see if he'll do it. Will you do it? Are you gonna eat it? Ooh. Ooh, that smells like something that's washed up on the beach three months ago, which should make him like it. Because he's he's basically he's carrying dead flesh, things washed up on the side of the shore in Indonesia, Malaysia, and that kind of back. It's just, they eat anything. They eat eggs, they eat all kinds of stuff. I'll go get you something else if you eat this, I promise. While you're eating this, I'll run off and get you something. Some other exotic food. You gotta eat it. He's like, uh-uh, I ain't eating that thing. Come on, are you full or you just don't want to eat it? He's thinking about it. Oh, 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 oh! That was my finger, bro! What you would think? I think he wanted my finger. He didn't want the fish. There. Oh, oh, I think that was a no. Did you see that? You want it? Okay, as soon as you grab this, I'm going to get you something else really tasty. I, want, I'll, I promise I'll get you something tasty. He's like, no way am I eating that thing. If I could have smelt them, I wouldn't have bought them, guys. I don't think that's going to work. Now I'm going to go find out if he's actually just hungry for something else. Okay, so here we go. I got all kinds of stuff here. We'll find out if he just wants something else to eat. Do you want an egg? Huh? You want an egg? Is that what you want? Oh, so apparently he's still hungry. So how about the eel now? You want the eel now? You like the egg, huh? Ooh, down the hatch it goes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he ate the eel. Will he eat one of these? Uh-uh, nope, I don't think so. He's going, nope, mm-mm. So, so you see, so the, the funny part is that's how good a sniffer works. He's like, I don't want one of those. Uh-uh. You want this? You want this? You want that? I think that was a no too, but now watch this. Watch this. I got money on this one. Oh, maybe he's really full. Are you full? Nope. <laughs> so when you get what you want, you just eat till you can't eat no more. Oh, I see how you are. Kind of like me and sushi bars. It just is the way it rolls. But you don't like your calamari. Calamari is good. It's really good. I'm telling you. It's really good. You guys like calamari? It tastes good. Here, you eat yours, I'll eat mine. Oh, that went down the hatch. If you eat this, I'll eat mine. Here. Nope. Guess I don't have to eat my calamari today. I prefer it cooked anyway. Because he didn't eat his. I'm definitely ain't eating the eel whether he eats it or not. The good news is it's the last deal. Anyway, what do you guys think? Is it kind of fun watching these crazy guys eat? Anyway, I'm living the dream here at the Reptile Zoo, feeding fun animals. We're going to make a lot of feeding animal videos. Uh, we've got all kinds of crazy foods that we're feeding them. You know what's fun? Squid tastes pretty good. You ever eat it? Try it sometime. What do they call it again? I can't remember the name. Help me out, guys. Get it slow, Shishibar. Peace out.